Good morning and welcome to a rather special road trip. A 74 mile trail specifically made for EVs. And the trail's been created by the Low Carbon Lake District Programme. Over the last few years, we've seen a lot of the infrastructure grow, especially in the Lake District. You've got dedicated charges in car parks. The other thing is, they're going to be increasing it tenfold. First, I better give you a taste of where we're actually going to go. The Windermere, you could stop off at Staveley, Plumgarth, all manner of places. Now, I could wax lyrical for hours about this. I've mountain biked, hiked, windsurfed all over the lakes for many years. But the best bet is let's head to the M6 and then you can see for yourself. All aboard the Ionic 6, Hyundai's flagship car. This offers everything we'll need. We can even charge our electric mountain bike if we need to. This is going to be one heck of a road trip. But 90% of battery and 250 miles of range. You could get as many as 361. So we're just heading under the crag and then we'll join the M6 at Carnforth. We've got the ventilated seats on. Lovely. And we're going to get off at Junction 36, which is just coming up here. We're on the trail. We're off. <laughs> 16 miles to Windermere. Looks like we're heading to the lakes. Yeah. That's the thing about the Lake District. There's so many things to do. Mountain biking, boating, pleasure cruises, fish and chips, coffee, farm shops. And that's, that's the things that come to mind immediately. Yeah. Then you've got things like... The world of Beatrix Potter. Well, yeah. And... Uh, Wordsworth. Rock... Exactly. The culture elements. A calming feeling just comes over you, doesn't it? It's serene, tranquil. Pick yeah. whichever word you want to use for it. The gateway to the lakes. Just look at all the mountains. But this is the village of Staveley. Where you need to be, opposite Hawkshead Brewery, for the EV charging points. Wow, didn't expect four. Ah, wheelbase. You don't need to go out and buy a bike. I mean, I'd obviously advocate it because electric mountain bikes are awesome. But you can hire one, but can't you? you? Yeah, yeah, you can hire them all around the Lake District. This is the village of Ings. Another bike place there. Cumbria in Bloom Award winner. Train station on the left. And it's right next to Booth's. This time, we've got Rapid. There they are. And they're in Stavolt. Lots of things to see and do, places to shop, eat, drink, relax. One of our favorite things as well. The, the topless, topless bus. bus. It's a really good way of getting out and seeing the lakes. And on a day like this, it's perfect. Coffee shops galore. And the art gallery. I, I look like they've got a Frida Kahlo portrait in the front. Yes, they have. Next stop, the Jetty Museum. World of Beatrix Potter, Holherd Gardens. A must on your adventure is the Windermere Jetty Museum. Lots of classic boats and the heritage of the area and about Lake Windermere. Our next destination, Bowness. Shows you how popular it is. <laughs> the steamers. And there's lots of geese on the banks of Windermere as well. And you've got Newby Bridge, Hawkshead, Coniston. If you go that way, you'll end up in Grisdale Forest. Visitor centre, all types of things. That's it, we're not going to cover everything on this trail because literally we'd be here for, to be honest, around a month. And if you fancy a bit of life, Windermere life, shall we say? Yes. You've got amusements here, bar and grill, carvery. There's also, I think, Things like speedboats for sale. Look at that for a view. <gasps> Plenty of wide open spaces for games, sunbathing, lounging, picnicking. This trail was designed to encourage EV drivers to stay longer, park up and explore by bike and on foot. Walks head by the ferry. The water's edge. Oh, it's here. Yay. Perfect way to get your bike yeah, across the lake. All aboard. Wow. The Millard. Thank you very Thanks very much. much. Not far from here is Claif, an 18th century viewing station, which boasts colourful glass frames in which to view panoramic vistas of Lake Windermere. From here, there is a four mile lakeshore walking and cycling trail that takes you up to Ray Castle, which is our next destination. This looks a lovely place to get lunch, doesn't it? It does indeed. Look, that's Peter Rabbit. And this is Ray Castle. This is magnificent. Here. You can see why Beatrix Potter fell in love with this place. It's beautiful.
Our next destination, Ambleside. <laughs> oh, look, Lake District Visitor Centre. A brock old house and garden. This is fabulous. Can you imagine scampering about up there? All the way along. Yeah. So it's called the treetop nets and the treetop trek. It looks awesome. It really does. There's a step-free route as well. That's really handy. So you've got disabled parking. There's also some Type 2 chargers. It's nice to see a decent sized car park. Charging does apply. Want to see the Lake District from a different perspective? Why not take to the water on the Windermere Lake Cruise? It's open all year round with private charters, lunch cruises and even Father Christmas. So there's always something for you and your loved ones to enjoy. For prices and information visit windermere-lakecruises.co.uk Now you've had a glimpse of what the Lake District has to offer, why not check out the rest of our road trip and see what else we got up to? Click here. If you're after a rapid charger in Ambleside, you're in luck. There's one in here. Genie Point. Welcome to Ambleside Town Centre. So this is a cinema with a restaurant. It's a lovely little town, this, isn't it? Yeah, it's one of my favourites, to be yeah. honest. Quaint little streets. That's it, there's so many footpaths, hikes. Rambling trails, you name it. Moving on. Yeah. Grasmere and Keswick. Last in Grasmere, why not try out the coffin route that takes you past Dove Cottage on the way to St Oswald's Church. Taking in Rydal Park, this lovely route takes you past the waterfalls at The Grot and the last home of William Wordsworth is just up ahead at Rydal Mount. Beatrix Potter, Peter Rabbit and Friends. Yes. Now this is beautiful. I'm going to go back to the stunning scenery whilst you're saying that because look at it. Hello sheeple. That is it's something else, isn't it? We're five miles from Keswick and ten miles from our hotel. This is why I was glad we came this way. We get to see the centre of Keswick. Oh, that must be Basson's Way. Ah. Lodo Falls, honestly. It looks amazing, doesn't it? Yeah. Hazel Bank. <laughs> oh, no. You have reached your destination. Have I? Apparently so. Welcome to Borrowdale and the Royal Oak Hotel. A welcome respite for weary travellers. And where we are spending the night. And the name? Rather apt, wouldn't you say? Having undergone a £1 million refurbishment, including a 7 kilowatt EV charger, and a range of contemporary rooms that are comfortable, welcoming, and above all, peaceful. USBs, Wi-Fi, but no television, which perfectly suits the ambience. It's modern yet homely, and capitalises on the heritage of the area, with the use of local slate and local produce for their food and drink. We enjoyed their three-course Sunday dinner, and nothing was too much trouble for the dedicated team there, headed up by Anne. Ben's favourite was the cheese board, no surprise there. And mine was the spiced cauliflower soup, which was superb, and we both thoroughly enjoyed the main course. For rates and availability, visit royaloakhotel.co.uk and tell them Planet Auto sent you. It's amazing who you meet when you're on an adventure like this. I've just met Larry from Colorado. I'm just chatting about well, the fact that he's been on a three-week adventure. And today, he heads to Edinburgh. We've decided to leave our hotel and head to Honister Slate Mine. Looking for adventure? Head to Honister, a place with lots to see and do, going underground in the slate mine, crossing the Infinity Bridge, cliff camping, and if you're looking for an adrenaline rush, the Via Ferrata. And don't forget, Honister Fest 2023 is just around the corner, starting on the 15th of July. Check out honister.com to find out more. Even a fence poster made a slate. Sea toller. Here we are in Keswick. Look at the gorilla. It's like a bank rental place. Yes. <laughs> when you're visiting Keswick, why not pop into Booths and get some fine food and also Booths have adopted Instavolt, Chidimo and CCS. 50 kilowatt and two are being used. And with a maximum stay of two hours, you've got time to get a decent charge on. Now this is the way to roll. Meet Sebastian. If you fancy a visit to the pictures, why not pop over to the Alhambra Cinema in Keswick? It's one of the country's longest running independent cinemas and it has a rather unique power system which utilises battery storage and solar panels. And if this is a little too high tech, why not step back in time to learn more about the very first pencil made in 1832 at the Derwent Pencil Museum, as graphite had been found in Borrowdale. During World War II, they created secret map and compass pencils designed for Lancaster bomber airmen. You're just leaving Keswick, you're fully charged. Where to next? Why not try Winlatter? Perfect mountain biking place. There's lots of hikes too. And here we are, Ben. Winlatter. Lovely places. Yep, there's a go ape here as well. Good to be adventurous to be up there. And don't forget Cafe Ambio. I 
can see why you spend so much time up here. We normally park here so we can put the bikes on a bit of grass and then put them together. Where to next? Castle Rig Stone Circle. Bye bye Winlatter. It's been a pleasure. EVs just aren't a problem for the Lake District. That is a path and a half up there. Let's go visit the Stone Circle. Castle Rigg Stone Circle is one of the earliest known henges in the country and this Neolithic meeting place affords fantastic views of Helvellyn and High Seat. Take a trip up to the stones and take a look for yourself. There's always time for an ice cream as well. You can always check out the mining museum. Threlkeld. It shows you how, how the area depended on it. Yeah. And thrived on it. Mm. Anyway, Thank you so. for the directions, Thank guys. Thank you. Enjoy Have your apples. Day. Thank you. Bye. Bye, bye. Bye. Right, we know where we're going now. Shredhead? Shredless. If you love marmalade, then Delmain Mansion is a must. They are hosts to the annual World Marmalade Awards and Festival, seeking to unite the world through the love of citrusy, gooey goodness. We wonder if Paddington is around. Walking around Delmain Mansion is like taking a trip through time, with fine examples of hand painted Chinese wallpaper, Chippendale furniture, and so much more. Visit delmain.com to book. When you're on the A592, there's so many little coves. Running out of charge in Glen Ridding, you've got absolutely no problem. We've got these Type 2s here. Feeling like a proper adventure. Why not head out on the Ullswater steamers? A classic steamer where you can really unwind. Feel like touching the clouds. Why not head up to High Street in Helvellyn? It's up there somewhere. Time to visit the Reghead Discovery Centre. Reghead is the place to go to fuel your creative side, with classes covering calligraphy to weaving, a cinema with the latest releases, deli counter, and an art gallery. The cafe boasts a pizza oven and a juice bar, and why not top up? You'll find Type 2, CCS and Chidemo. For more info, times and tickets, see reghead.com. That is Lowther Castle. You can take in Arthur's Round At the roundabout. Lather Castle boasts stunning gardens and fantastic scenery, offering plenty for the whole family to enjoy. The Adventure Playground is a firm favourite, and you can soak up the history of Lowther by taking in an exhibition, followed by an exploration of the gardens, woodlands and ruins that surround it. Check out lowthercastle.org for more information. And there you have it, the EV Trail, 74 miles, or 250 if you prefer. It depends how far you want to get off the beaten track. But rest assured, you've got chargers, you've got lovely views, culture, history. You're hard pushed not to find something you'd like. Whether it's water sports, cycling, or just chilling out, glamping. There's something that's going to appeal.